Frank Murkison are in the process of raising funds for new sports and leisure facilities at the school. One area of focus behind us is the creation of a new 2G pitch and a 3G pitch. How significant a development is that for the school? I think it's a hugely significant initiative. I think the quality of rugby that you can play on these pitches is much greater than you can uh, perform in the mud, uh, which is traditional fare for the Scottish winter. And I think for Merkison, with such a rich history and tradition in the game, uh, it's important to um, show the, the future parents of, of pupils at the school how enthusiastic we still are about this game and how important the game is to us because I think it will encourage parents to, to send uh, their youngsters who are keen on rugby to the school and, and it will also encourage uh, coaches, I think, uh, teachers who are interested in the game to come to the school because it's the tempo that you can practice on on these all-weather pitches is so much greater than you can on grass and, and that of course leads to increased tempo on the Saturday matches as well. And the 3D pitch will be rugby ready so you'll be able to play a full 80 minute game on the pitch. It's becoming more prevalent in the professional game as well with Cardiff Blues, Saracens have got 3G pitches, Glasgow Warriors are considering it at Scotston as well so it's, it's, sort of, it's the way things are going. Yeah, I first came across it in Hong Kong around about 2007 and I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think initially one or, people, one or two people had reservations about, you know, is it safe or is it like to be more dangerous? But I think all the evidence now is that it's certainly no more dangerous than it is playing on grass, uh, especially on the firm grounds at the start of the season. And uh, what it does, it gives you a foothold in, in the surface that allows you to to get good footwork and, and play at a tempo that, that the players are going to enjoy and that everybody's going to enjoy watching. And it'll also help given the weather we have in Scotland, but also do you expect the standard of the rugby to increase as well? Yeah, I think the standard will go up because the, the most important thing um, in rugby just about is, is tempo and, and the speed at which you can do things. And I always think in Merkison we have a tradition of, of doing things quicker than the opposition uh, because the boys are well drilled from a very early age. And, and I think uh, by playing on the surface that will en enhance that advantage. Another area of investment is in a new state-of-the-art high-tech um, fitness suite. Um, strength and conditioning these days in the modern era, how important is it and how important is it even for a schoolboy level rugby? Yeah, I, I've never been a massive fan of strength and conditioning, um, but, but I now fully understand the value of it. Um, you've got to prepare properly. Uh, schoolboy rugby is much more physical than it was when I coached and you've definitely got to be ready for the, the bumps and bashes of, of especially at first 15 level. Um, but the other thing about strength and conditioning is it, it, uh, you form a commitment from uh, an early age that you, know, you want to look after your body, you want to get it in the best possible shape, you start getting interested in proper nutrition and diet and um, I just, th just think it all adds to the preparation um, for, uh, to play this wonderful game of ours. And it would stand players in good stead who would make the step up to professional level? Oh, definitely. In the early days of professionalism that I was involved in, uh, there was a massive gulf for people coming out of school who'd maybe been used to two or three training sessions a week and, and weren't physically prepared. To be honest, our professional players weren't physically prepared then, but the difference um, since strength and conditioning took a grip of the game uh, has been massive. Uh, it doesn't mean to say you want to forget uh, the skill elements, but it's a reminder that there's so many facets to the game.